I want to start with the investment. What, why is it a good investment for the city? Well, I think one, the, the way it's been structured, we've tried to take the risk away for the city. Um, they know what the money is going in. It will generate more taxes than what's being paid in. So it's a net positive for the, for the, for the region and for the city. And I think, uh, look, at the end of the day, we want things to be proud of. I think St. Louis has sort of taken it in the teeth a little bit the last several years, whether it's the national media's portrayal of our city because of Ferguson, whether it's um, companies leaving. This is actually an opportunity to bring something here and to leverage something that, that frankly, we're known for nationally and globally as the soccer capital. You are talking about a long-term investment too, aren't you? It is. I mean, it, um, a, a big private investment and a long-term investment. And it's hard for people to believe, and I understand that, that, oh, why would these guys put money in if they're not going to make millions and millions? The people investing in this from a private standpoint basically kind of don't look at it as money they're going to see back. Um, their kids or the next generation might if the sport grows. Um, but they but they really see it as something fun to do. They see it as... as beneficial for the community and, 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 the, and they want to feel good about doing something for the community and I think it can lead to a lot of a lot more good things in St. Louis than maybe people realize we need to do a better job communicating that but I just think um, it really is an opportunity and again it's St. Louis winning I mean and when if we had a visible kind of significant business choose us over markets like Indianapolis Nashville Charlotte this is an opportunity to win it's a venue that wouldn't be just for soccer. It's been mentioned before. What are the possibilities there? You know, I just went to Dallas and looked at their venue, and we're, we're going to study everyone in the MLS. And one thing that they did that's interesting is they have a, a fixed stage built in the end of their stadium, and we're intrigued by that because they host way more concerts than we assumed. And all our, our analysis that, that, that we can still say justifies that there's, there's more revenue than is being paid in in public money. Um, we only assumed one or two concerts a year. They're hosting seven or eight concerts um, outdoor. Um, we don't really have a good downtown venue for outdoor concerts in the summer and the spring. Um, then you've got football. Um, they actually host in Dallas uh, the FCS championship. Um, the Sporting KC has hosted Division II championship. We want to bring those events here, high school football. Um, and obviously lacrosse, rugby, and then any other kind of large-scale community event outdoors that, can, that, that, that people can think of, that's what this, that's what this uh, facility is for. Is job growth a big component of this for you? It is. Um, you know, and I believe strongly that you know, a, a source or a solution for a lot of the issues that, that St. Louis as a city faces is economic growth and employment. And, and you know, even when we talk about crime, which I know public safety is high in people's minds, um, you, know, you can hire a lot of cops, and we do need more police. We know that. Um, but I can also tell you that, and I've talked to people in the police department, the more the people are employed and gainfully employed, and I think the better off the city will be in some of those statistics, like crime statistics and things like that. And we're talking about careers because this is just one project, and you're going to have Scott Trade, you're going to have um, NGA, you're going to ultimately have Metrolink. So people can get into the construction trades and probably have probably the largest increase in construction work St. Louis has seen, and it'll last a good 15 to 20 years. So it's a career, not just a job. City Arch River has been a big part of uh, the growth of the city. What do you envision here in these next couple of years? Granted that you get the news that you want here pretty soon the next month. I think it, it, City Arch River, and, I'm, and I joined the board of that organization, organization and, and, and personally contributed money to it because it was really important as a catalyst for the growth we wanted to see in the entire um, downtown area and, and that's what I think you're seeing with, with things like Scott Trade um, with what we're proposing the, the re, re, uh, um, kind of regeneration of Union Station um, and then you've got Cortex and you've got everything that SLU does I mean I think you can start seeing um, projects lead to other projects and the kind of growth we're looking for. And St. Louis is already doing better than people give themselves credit for, but I think this will take us to another level. Dave, ultimately, this group, what is the message you want to get to voters? I'd say this is about believing in a different future for St. Louis. It's really both propositions one and two. Um, I think it's not just a soccer stadium. It's a multi-purpose facility. But really, that one is after you're doing Metrolink. Um, it's after you're doing uh, public safety, which is in the uh, Proposition 1 provision. It's after there's neighborhood development. We recognize those priorities need to be addressed. And in voting in yes for both one and two, 
you are addressing all those as well as adding significant jobs to the region. Appreciate the time very much. It was a, a good soccer day here in St. Louis. It was.